What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Moonflower Palace within Dark Chronicle again with me, the Lonesome Raptor. Now guys and gals, you join me as we continue to plow onto the side area, we'll call it the side bonus area as such, of Moonflower Palace to continue to do our normal stuff, monster transformation, as per ever, you can normally suck my dick. So yeah, so guys and gals, welcome back to the beautiful game. A beautiful game about me talking about sucking my dick, why not? Anyway. Um, but yeah, so guys and gals, hope everyone's doing well, and it's not doing too bad myself on this lovely, beautiful, getting quite hot kind of day at the moment, to be fair. I thought that was a really weird glitch to the right there for a sec there, but that's cool. Oh, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I felt like a fair while since I've seen one of the Moonflower things, but anyway. Alright, let's probably equip something a bit more powerful for good old Maximilian here. So, I don't really know what to focus on at the moment, weapon-wise, the moment for what we should really... Ooh, what, six points for that? We got six points for that? Huh. Okay. Um... Alrighty, uh, what do I need for this bad boy then? Hmm. Um, I don't really know. Uh, I'll, I'll just probably organize that to be fair. I, I could always just add a, you know, this onto it, but what does that. That comes so much more handy with the, like, the other stuff as well, to be fair, so. Um, hmm. Why well, isn't just intriguing? I I, I don't want to read to know to be fair what's actually had on there. Uh, what does this do? Cyclone. I'm pretty high on cyclone to be fair. I could do durability. I mean durability is something I was kind of like keep one to add on stuff. I just never bother. Why not? We'll do six, we'll do six durability. I mean it's all like at, the mo at this point it's just kind of you know just keep stacking stuff on, hope that it kind of eventually becomes something insanely good. I, I don't actually even know if there is actually a maximum level cap for weapons and such. If that makes sense, I don't know if they can eventually hit like a, a point where they just stop gaining. Well, that does look conveniently like it stopped to 99 rather than anything higher. Don't think 89 plus whatever makes 99. Um, hmm. Anyway, I'll, I'll just say okay for now on that. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not entirely too sure. Anyway, as gentle as lamb looks weak, but dun dun dun. What do you have for that? I haven't actually even looked at the stats for that. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, at one point, if I really want to build, 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 build bulk up some stuff later on, I might just kind of level up these bad boys just level 5 and then just break them all down. Um, which, it might work eventually, if I'm not too sure. Anyway, so, if we add this diamond to, uh, yes, I actually work freaking fantastic, that's very nice. I'll add this to the gun quickly, just for the pure freaking lols, because why not? Uh, there we go. Yeah, sure, why not? I may as well add the emerald to it as well, because I kind of just, it give me a general idea exactly to how much we kind of need to hold all of our things. We still need all that? That's pretty beautiful, brutal, but it's okay. Uh, spectrumize the bloody emerald too. I know it only kind of helps out the exorcism of the beast, but it still adds something, I guess. I mean, adds, I think it helps the flame too. I mean, you know, you never know. Might need some flame for this bad boy as well. To be honest, I'm still unsure exactly where this is heading, if that makes sense. This kind of upgrade chart, so I'm sort of just leaving it to it, but um, I'll, is what it is. Anyway, so that still hasn't really helped push anything too much across. Uh, so if we add two of these bad boys, because why not? I've got two of these crystals, we may as well bloody use them up. Wow, we it. There we go. Uh, so it says that bad boy across. There we are. Smash as well, don't we? I think we need smash. Smash, 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 smash. Everybody. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we'll do two of these bad boys as well. Use up this last Simpsons points, because why not? There we go. Synthesis. Entre there we go. Steel gun. Steal your girl gun. Oh, you know what I'm saying. Alright, so that's fine. Uh, so let's go on to yard. Do we need anything for this bad boy? We don't. We just need to kill the enemies, which in all fairs, we haven't done that just yet. Any points for this beauty? We don't, but we. Evil Nail. Okay, so Evil Nail's, you know, we aren't, we aren't actually quite much of a rush for the Basad at the moment just because we haven't actually seen that what, that that enemy just yet. But I can imagine we'll probably see it at one point around here somewhere. So, um, we'll, we'll continue to focus on Max's gun just for the pure sake of it at the moment. Uh, okay, wasn't ready. The, okay, that was alright. That wasn't too bad. Okay. Bloody. Alright, that was... Okay, lastly, this is a great way to start off, isn't it? Great fucking way to start it off. Anyways, isn't it? Okay, equip that bad boy. Okay, hello. Hello. Excuse me, that's, that's not very nice. Okay, oh, okay, I'm gonna try and just deal with one of you guys first, then maybe, like, try and get the gun out. Fuck me, this is not gonna... Oh, we seriously, this is the, you guys are the first fucking enemies I've seen. Let's bugger off. There we go, all right. Hold out, just there we go, take the damage. There we go, hop around him a touch, and what? And ba -da boom there we go, shoot him a touch. Yeah, if I give him a nice one more swipe, that hopefully will... Hey, elephants, there we go. All right. Oh, maybe not one more swipe. Maybe not one more Oh, fuck. No. No, 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 no. I don't want to use fucking resurrection powder just yet. All right. Come on. Come on. 
To be honest, I don't actually know when I'm expected to, well, no, when I'm actually expecting myself to actually want to use the resurrection powder. Ooh, that was fucking beautiful. Um, because, I mean, at every point I die, I'm like, no, I'm not going to use it. So I don't know if I'm, I guess in all fairness, maybe I'm holding out for like a mega boss, which I might eventually need maybe for the Zalmite mines. So I'm holding out for now, I'm holding out for now. Anyway, that was actually pretty well done. Okay. Got some more, some, got myself some more XP for me, got all guns, so it's not too bad at all. Alright, uh, Stoneberry. I think the stone berries and stuff will probably come in handy when it comes down to me doing all the items kind of berries around here and stuff, so that's always going to be fun. Always fun doing the only fucking items ones. I mean, it's quite good in all fairness because it does give you an excuse to kind of give a lot of XP to one certain character, even if they can't, hand can't kind of handle the area as such. So that's quite good when I was kind of level up um, Monica's Bassard back in like the sewers and stuff because it's all like saving me having to go pew 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 pew, pew over and over again. So it's all like, you know, I just sort of sit there for a single bomb and they'd probably die. Anyway, so. That's the exit. Let's quickly mark where that is, just because I may as well. There we go. Alrighty. But yeah, so, um, no, I hope, I hope you guys and gals are all doing okay. Uh, doing what you I said, my, my day's been pretty dull, to be fair. Been, this has probably been the highlight of it so far, apart from me receiving about three parcels in the mail today, I think it was. Actually, it was only two. I, I, I received a, my treadmill, my, my, I received some plants today as well, which is quite nice. Um, oh. You are brutal on that attack, I have to admit. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Let you do that, and doo -doo 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 -doo. there we are. Bring something like Drood Sandstorm for a sec there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. Whoa. Hut. I'm fucking the fastest shooter in the rest, fam. What are we gonna do about that? Oh, you got fucking wrecked. All right, give me that XP. Beautiful done. Beautiful done. Ah, oh, dear. I don't, I don't know. What, like, really, what will kind of like um replace this now once this is finished. Well, I know what kind of like Let's Play will do after this once this is done, but it's like, it's like I'm so excited to kind of, as, as excited as I am to kind of finish this game, sort of like get it all done, see how it's going to end and stuff. I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, I'm going to miss it and stuff. I know I mentioned this in the past couple of episodes as well, but like, I don't know, I really am going to miss it. Like, I, 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 wait, I don't know what it is. Like, it's like, same with Dark Cloud, same with like Enchanted Arms and stuff. You get so used to playing the same kind of game for the channel over and over again. Like, moving on to a new one's quite a big step. Like, moving on from... Oh, crikey, I can't remember what it was. It was something I did that was something between... I can't remember that. I, I did something at one point, and like, it was the kind of bridge between what I was doing with Enchanted Arms, which then moved on to Dark Cloud, but I can't remember what the fuck it was. I really can't remember what it was. That is dreadful. I really should be able to remember what that is. I, I don't think I moved straight from Enchanted Arms onto Dark Cloud, but I... What did I? I, I genuinely actually have no idea. Anyway, I mean, I, I, I feel like I might have played Resident Evil 4 or something between that time, and I think I played, a, like, a mixture of other games just to kind of, like, fill my time. But, like, I don't know if it was just kind of, like... Eh, oh, well, and it doesn't really matter. But, yeah, so, I mean, the big one after this and stuff, well, obviously, if you guys have been with the channel for a while, I've been watching the Let's Play for a while, fuck you, Mr. Open Empty Chest. Um, if you guys have been with the channel for a while now, I've been watching this Let's Play for a while, you will probably know what the kind of, like, what I'm about to say is what's going to come, come on next after this is done. Um, but good old Dragon Quest VIII is going to be my next bad boy I'm going to start to try and complete. That bad boy is going to take a long, long time to complete, I can tell you that right now. Um, I have to admit, I, 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 uh, I commend uh, Adam for thinking it's going to take less time than uh, this bad boy, but I'm thinking... I think Dragon Quest VIII is going to be the longest series I'm going to do on my channel so far, but I mean, it'll, it'll purely depend on how things go as a whole, to be fair, so, yeah. It depends how lucky we get and stuff, and you know, all that shebang, how, you know, how kind of well prepared I am and stuff, so, I don't know, we will, we shall see, we shall see. I'm, I'm so excited to play it though, I'm not, I'm not even kidding though, I mean, I, it's been such a long time since I played it, uh, so I'm gonna be rusty as all hell, but it's just gonna be like, I'm fucking playing it again, so, oh, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. The amount of times I've played the intro scene though, like the part at the beginning, where it's like, you just do a general kind of like slime fighting, and then you got the whole, and Bristol Ball start and stuff like that, and it's like, oh, I can't, I cannot wait for all that start again, again. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited for that, and the great, um, the great Caldrasha, something like that. The great Caldrasha. And then you got the Mori, it's like, I'm Mori. This is my monster arena. Oh my god, I'm doing the accents as well. I'm gonna be so excited. It's like, alright, go. F <laughs> I can't really do a good Yangus, I have to admit. Oh, I can do a Yangus burger. Oh, okay, excuse me, love. That's I was doing my beautiful bloody. Leave me alone. Oh, that was a nice backflip there, fam, but you know, not really what exactly we were looking for, but. Um, I'm so, I'm so excited to get it started after mix. It's such a freaking fantastic game, I have to admit. Anyway, give me that. So, okay, I was, I was randomly just trying to test out then to see if I could use my food while my health was full, but I can't, which is quite good, because I think I might have double tap squares then to use, like, a whole meat to be, like, a tiny morsel of health. But, um, 
Yeah, I'm so I'm so excited for Dragon Quest Day. I, I know a lot of you guys might not be quite as excited, even though I don't know a lot of you guys are probably most like most most likely hardcore fans of like level five as a whole. Um, but yeah, so I'm so excited to get the game started and stuff. I mean, it, and as well, I'm actually equally as, as excited to eventually start uh, doing um, uh, Nini Kuni as well afterwards. I know I know it's a lot of like a lot of you guys might be like, holy shit, Jordan, how long are you been on YouTube? Fucking years. And to be fair, I've been on here long enough already, so I can definitely last a couple more years of myself at the moment. So, um, but yeah, so I'm doing Nina Kuni after I finish Dragon Quest 8 and stuff, which will be quite fun. So, I mean, a long old let's play that will be as well, but you know, a long time it will be worth it and stuff like that. So, I mean, and to especially since I've never actually fully completed the game, I've only ever got to the kind of midway point, arguably, uh, which I don't really know how far midway is, if it makes sense. I don't really want to spoil anything as such, because there is actually generally spoilers by me saying where I'm at and stuff. So, um, but yeah, so I'll, at least I'll kind of know what I'm doing with that game as a whole, like, and as well as the same kind of things which I'll know for, um, my beautiful Dragon Quest as well. So, anyway, Lightning Smash Beast Exorcism Scale. I keep saying that over and over again, I can forget every single time. Um, okay. I'm trying to think what would be kind of Lightning Beast Exorcism Scale. So we'll do, uh... No, I don't really want to do that. I didn't mention me to do that at all. There we go. Uh, I, I know it's like kind of pressed after pressed. I was like, hang on a sec. What did I just press? All right, so it's, uh, so lightning beast exorcism scale. I really doubt it's enough exorcism, but that's cool. Okay, we'll do this bad boy. Oh, excuse me, I have a lightning crystal. Uh, lightning smash beast exorcism scale. So we've got four more, well, three more points now. I want two scale crystals actually. I didn't realize we had them there. I was gonna like to see if I didn't think I had any more um yeah. Crystals that would work for that. That's cool. We use two of these bad boys here. I could just add some attack onto it if I wanted to. I kinda don't want to at the same time, because attack I feel like we should really only save for weapons which really can't do any damage at all. In which in all fairness, I don't think we've actually got any of those any left anymore, to be fair. So I could add it, but I think I might use it just for someone else's, because why not? Uh Lightning Smash Beast X and Scale. So Uh, what's up, Doc? Uh, why, we'll add well, why not? We'll do one thunder thing. Actually, that might be 120, so I mean, that might be the perfect kind of the perfect weapon. There we go. Uh, pop that in there. If it was the perfect weapon, it'd be 420. Am I right, boys? <laughs> anyway, anyway, all right, let's uh see how that's doing. Still more. Fucking hell. Oh, uh, we do oh okay, so we've done an exorcism. Very random number, huh? I swear that was on like one three. Actually, that would have been six points, so it might have been one three five as well. Oh Christ, I really hope it isn't all has to be up to one three five, but we will find out next time on Enchanted Arms or Dark Cloud or Dark Chronicle 2, whatever this game's called. Anyway, um, but yeah, so, um, but I'm, I'm so excited for Dragon Dragon's Day. You're gonna hear so many accents come out, and oh, you guys are gonna, oh, I, I'm so excited for it. I'm gonna be wrong, I've really enjoyed Dark Cloud 1, I enjoyed Dark Cloud 2, um, but I mean, no offense, like the Dark Cloud One, it kind of felt a little bit like a, a blind let's play for me because I mean, I played it so many times. I've, I've been through that game way too many times for my own good. I'm um, not all the way through way too many times. I think that was probably the second time, potentially maybe my third time, actually completing completing the game. Um, but like, um, this one's been kind of like a blind let's play for me. In, in all fairness, it's like same for my experience with uh, Ninja Gaiden as well. Like it's been kind of a blind blind let's play for me as well, which I enjoy doing for YouTube. But at the same time, I really do enjoy playing games, which I just I'm so fucking passionate about. To be I'm really passionate about this game as well because I'm, I'm still loving the fact that I'm, I'm playing the sequel to one of my most beloved games of all time and all fairs really freaking holds up but like um it's obviously still like it's not like kind of cemented itself into me through the nostalgia or anything like that it's all like you know like Dark Cloud 1 has like Dragon Quest 8 has and stuff so yeah that's probably the why I don't really have quite that strong connection I did with like Dark Cloud 1 and Dragon Quest 8 really to be fair anyway I would like to play Sveda, please. Uh, not too shabby of a one. That's the kind of like a solid one. I might be able to maybe get in a couple of hits. Uh, let's grab a good old Schwan. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. I have to admit, as much as I'd like to kind of level up the swans and stuff, like my clubs, I did actually read up at one point to see what the kind of club evolutions were, and it just seemed to kind of go from club to club. And the only ones that, by the looks of it, like when I read it up and stuff, was like the, the higher they got. This is like on a. I don't know what it was like, like a game facts or game guides article, or, uh, yeah. article, article, um, yeah, like, it said something about like how like, the, the higher the club or something like that, the worse they get and stuff like that, and I was looking at stuff and it kind of made sense of what they were on about, and basically said that the, the swan is kind of the best one, with Falcon kind of not being the second best, but kind of like being not exactly the worst, kind of the mid club as such, so yes, yeah, so this was kind of like the above average, there was one better than this, but I can't remember what it's called or something like that, I think it's the Flamingo or something like that, um, but yeah, so like, I'm not really too fussed about leveling up the, uh, the, um, oh, oh, that was actually pretty good, I'll accept that. Um, 
but yeah, so I'm not really too fussed about kind of like leveling up my bad boy clubs at one point. Because I mean, you know, there's no real kind of need to as such. As much as I'd love to, that'd be quite cool to kind of level them up, see what they kind of look like and stuff. I, you know, I'm, I'm not really too fussed. Anyway, so let's pop that up to there, and we'll go, what? I'm going to be too powerful, so if we... I'll accept that. Oh, that is actually... I know it's red, but that's actually not too bad at all. I'll accept that. Okay, so if we... Give it a... About there. Might be a little too weak. Just going to whoop, and boop. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't always understand the... Second knocks, in all fairness, it's not quite as impressive sometimes, like, not quite as impressive, blah. um, it's not quite as, uh, solid on, like, what it always wants to do as such, it makes it, I can never, ever understand if that's actually ever gone through it, but I think that is, so if we, okay, oh, beautifully done, beautifully done, 10 out of 10, laddie, 10 out of 10, there we go, Da, 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 da. Distortion repairs. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so let's get this party started right now. What do we get? Oh shit! Nah, oh, not really what I wanted, but that's okay. That is okay. It is okay. So I think I've got enough food and stuff to handle one last kind of floor and stuff. So we'll quickly get one floor, and then we'll probably go do some shopping, and we'll call that the end of an episode, my darlings. But yeah, so um. What was I said about? Yeah, so I, I, as I said, I'm, I'm so excited for Dragon's Day. Like, I mean, uh, like looking forward to seeing Red again, seeing Medea again, seeing Trode again, seeing Angelo again, Jessica again. Jessica being the highlight of that again. You know what I'm saying, guys and gals? She's like, holy! Um, but. <laughs> <laughs> but no, honestly, I'm, I'm so excited for the game. I really am. I mean, I know it's out. I mean, it's, I, I think it's getting re-released again on, like, the 3DS or something like that. I'm, I'm playing on PS2. There's no, no no other way you can potentially play the game at all. Um, but honestly, oh, it's such a beautiful game. Soundtrack as well. It's like... Stuff, it's, it's, oh, so good, so good. It's so level 5. It's freaking fantastic. And I think I saw the... There we go. But honestly, I, I'm... Yo, I, I, cannot, I cannot explain how excited I am for the game. It's going to be so freaking good. Anyway. So, guys and girls, I'm going to trot on over to the next floor. And hopefully, it's not a seal flask. Only only the right pod. Oh, I can accept that as a bloody challenge, fam. Got no fucking problem with that, buddy. All right. Um, okay. All right. So, let's continue to do our beautiful stuff. Crush the undead. Sorry for the little pause just then, though, ladies and gentlemen. I had a quick check of my phone. Uh, so, let's switch over to the right pod. Because it's beautiful. I mean, after every time it's kind of like switch the right pod, it's like, oh, this is going to be easy for It's like, there's no problem with this one. I mean, I mean I, I'm expecting a couple times, maybe one point, they're just going to completely fuck me up. Oh, okay. Oh. Leave it to me. Oh, my damage after me. Give me that. Give me that. Excuse me, evil performer. Please leave me alone. There we go. Give me that XP. Give me that XP. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 XP. Get lost, you oh, bloody hell. Calm down, mate. Calm down. Hello, Skull Chief. Oh, okay. I haven't seen you in a while, to be fair. I haven't seen them, uh... Is it Bundy or Gundy or something like that? Ted Bundy or something like that? Who is who is Ted Bundy? I I know the name, Ted Bundy. I think he's... I don't want to say he's a serial killer, but at the same time, I think he might be like a politician or some shit like that. I have no idea. I, oh, he's a boxer? Is he a boxer turned serial killer? Or am I thinking of Bronson? I could be very well thinking of Bronson, but I think they both might have very, very similar tales or something like that. I don't really know, in all fairness. Anyway, who am I locking on to? Hello, Silver Gear. Oh, shh. You, you might be a little bit kind of a bit of pain. Hello, Swervy Swervy. What are you going to do about this, boys? Oh, no. It's the evil performer who walks really slow and is standing there for a bit. He's like, where did he go? Oh, he's behind me. <laughs> all right. Oh, dear, guys and gals. But, yeah, so, um... Yeah, I mean, I'm quite excited for that bad boy. I'll probably start up a couple of new series as well, because obviously I've been saying about, like, um, this is kind of like your choice in a sense, like, on, like, what the series will be and stuff. Then I think Ninja Gaiden's kind of my choice. Uh, and then, obviously, Ride Tales kind of my crap choice. I'm not really too sure what to do with my crap choice after that. I've got, like, a single idea as such, which might be the good one. Um, ooh. Oh, no, with that one health I had left. What a damn shame. There we go. But, um, yeah, I've got, I've got one idea for what I might do for, like, my next series and stuff, which... I kind of want to do, but at the same time, I'm kind of nervous because it's a very... I don't know, it's, it's an unusual one, no offense. I'm not really too sure exactly how well-known the game is as a whole, but, like, there's a game 
Don't want to tell you guys. Don't want to tell you guys. Uh, not, not yet. Not yet. I'm going to say I'm not going to tell you guys just yet, just in case like I never actually wind up doing it or whatever. But um, yeah, so I'm quite intrigued to see what I'll do for my next crap series. I mean, I know it's like entirely my choice, but I'm still quite intrigued to see what exactly I choose in the end. Um, hello? What the? Oh, so I can, I can tell what the other guy was that I was trying to shoot at then. Bye bye, evil performer. Give me your XP. Nom 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 nom. I really need to start spending some of this XP. I've been sort of like just saving up for quite a while now. I might make it kind of like a bit of a shopping episode in the next one. I might kind of like using my XP up and stuff like that and kind of do all that beautiful stuff. Anyway, grab all that XP. But, um, yeah, so like, I'm not too sure what's really happening after Ninja Gaiden even as well. Because I'll say it's kind of my choice as such. I I'm really would love to do another Resident Evil game. Um, but I'm not too sure. Like, I mean, I might even kind of like take one of the games from my... Uh, kind of like choice list if that makes sense. If you, I don't know if any of you guys know, but I basically have like a poll as such, which I I think I still have active and stuff, which kind of like at any point if you guys do want to vote on what I play next, that's probably the best way to do it. At the moment, Dragon Quest VIII is the next one highest, the, you know, is the highest one at the moment, which I can't imagine would change because I can't imagine too many people will suddenly vote against it. Uh, and if they do, I will, I will probably cry. But, um, but like, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm quite excited to kind of play all that stuff. So, I mean, I'm not too sure, really, just because my, my I think my enjoyment from Dragon Quest VIII is kind of like distracting me from what I wanted to do. To replace them bad boys as well, because I think I, I, I can't, I, I really dread to think how long Ride right to Hell will actually be but I don't think it's going to be that long, so I can't imagine I've got too much longer left of it, but like um, what the fuck are you doing, you're 360 all over the place I mean, bloody hell, if you guys have not got motion sickness at home, I'm fucking flying all over the place anyway, give me that XP but yeah, so I'm, I'm uh, yeah, I'm not too sure, after Ninja Gaiden and after uh, Ride to Hell, yes, I completely forgot that and then um, yeah, I'm not too sure. I mean, I've got I've got a couple of like PS3 games which I kind of want to get rid of as such, and they're quite shit games. If that makes sense. Like, I mean, one of them, one of them which I probably won't do because I mean, apparently something this game's quite like I don't know, would say respected as such is uh, Time Shift. I mean, Time Shift is a game which I don't think even is got actually that bad reviews and stuff. But um, I played it and it just doesn't really hold up compared to how it used to be. If that makes sense. So I don't really want to insult anyone. If that makes sense. I mean, I only really tend to play games which are genuinely bad. So I will, um, yeah. I'll give it a go at one point. I'll see, I'll see what I can sort of like find up and rummage around. Because I've got a lot of games that I want to kind of get rid of and stuff. Because I've been just, I've been just sat there for a while now. And um, yeah. I mean, one of the ones I'd love to give it like a really good go on is Lair. Um, but I mean, I, I did a test drive on that a fair while ago. And I mean, a lot of you guys might be like, what the fuck's a test drive? But um, have a look up. If you if you don't know, just go on my search bar and sort of search in uh, test drive. But like, um, it's an exploding trap. Yay, I just actually did it disarming the trap. I don't know what my voice that was like, exploding trap? Really loud. Anyway, it's a trap. Um, but uh, yeah, so like, um, I, as I said, I did like, a test drive a while back, and then I never really kind of like found it too interesting. But at the same time, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it's it kind of interesting as a whole. And I got to munch up some like soldiers and stuff, and I had quite some fun with it and stuff. And um, yeah, so I mean, I, I don't know. I can't really kind of like call that a crap game and such. So. I think, yes, I mean, like, at one point, I remember Adam sort of commenting on stuff, saying about how um, he can imagine one day I'll play a game which is cool crap, but it's actually really quite good. And I'm, I'm still waiting for that time, obviously, I've only played two games so far, but, like, I don't really know. I, I, I don't really know what to really play next to kind of, like, you know, not kind of insult it, in all fairness. Because, I mean, I've got maybe a couple other games as well, which I think one of them is generally quite a bad game, and I don't think I've even played that much myself, but, um... And just a lie, I think I have actually started off myself at one point. I don't, I don't think I did a test drive on it, I'm not too sure. But, um, I, I don't want to do that. Like a Maximilian, Ride Pod. So there we go. Alright, um, uh, but yeah, so. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see anyway, guys and gals. So, I mean, obviously, you guys and gals will see probably much long after, after I, uh, have actually decided, to be fair. So, oh, shit, I didn't expect that. Oh no, the ride pod was critically damaged. If only we had some lovely um, oil to make it better, question mark. I, you fucking bastard. Alright, who's that bad boy? Oh, there's only one second there? Mm, okay. Right, there we go. Uh, character. Ride pod, board the ride pod, and slide of the way. Hey, is that fucking coming? Did you sell the gear? I'm back, baby! Um, but yeah, no, I, I don't know. I'm quite, I'm quite intrigued to see what I do choose and stuff. So that'd be quite an exciting old time. Quite a merry old time, my laddie. What, what? Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking fell off. All right, can I switch over to that guy over there? There we go. Um, but yeah, so I will, um, yeah. Don't be wrong. I, I always enjoy doing new series and stuff like that. So, guys. Oh, actually. Oh, now I remember a game I really wanted to play. 
Oh, okay, actually, no, I think that might be now my new my choice. Because I, I don't think I had really had a good one for my own my choice. It makes sense. Like, uh, Dragon Quest 8 will be the one which I'll be doing for you guys. Um, but for actual my choice, I think this will be definitely a very good one, in all fairness. I mean, it's been a long time to play the game and stuff, so it should be quite fun. I don't, I don't want to spoil it as well, so I will uh, I won't mention it more and stuff like that. So. I'm, I'm terrible at that kind of stuff. As soon as I say something like that, I'm like, oh, I really want to tell you guys. I really want to say. Oh, oh, there we go. Dodged, motherfucker. There we go. All right. I'm sure at one point I really should build an overcans too for this bad boy, but just the inventing side of this, like I was saying to, oh, oh, hello. Like I was saying to Adam as well for the comments and stuff, it's just something I just never have really gone, gone into and stuff, and like, I, I, I wish I could, but I mean, it seems a lot of you guys have kind of agreed with me as well, and sort of saying it's just like, it's something which isn't really that much of a necessity or such, so, anyway, these guys keep fucking falling down this corner. Come on, nope, nope, switch the mimic, there we go. See, that's one of the things I get to look forward to as well with bloody um, Dragon Quest 8 as well. I mean, I get mimics and stuff as well, which is going to be fucking fun as fuck, so it should be good. Good old mimics. I remember the first one of those I found, I got so confused. I found one, I was like, okay, and uh, like, I, I literally sort of popped up out of nowhere. I was like, okay. Um, so I, I opened up a chest. Now, this is the point where I like was barely playing the game that well, if that makes sense. Like, I sort of like understood how the concept went. I sort of like was doing my stuff. But I didn't really kind of know all the things that make sense. Like, and uh, that was the one point I was like, oh, hello. I opened up a chest and I was like, what the fuck? What's there a mimic in here? And yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, the fact is, I can actually still remember most of the stuff to do with the game, like, kind of, like, puzzles and such, if it makes sense, like, still now, which is quite good. And, uh, obviously, we've got all the joys of doing the monster hunt and stuff as well, which would be quite fun, so, yeah, God, it's going to be good as well. I could take down all the monster hunt or, or my, uh, monster arenas and stuff like that, which would be pretty sweet. So, yeah, so I'm quite looking forward to that bad boy. Silver gear. I'll have to get my old monster team back together. I'm pretty good for my classic monster team, which I went before, before, because they were freaking beautiful, they were. Hey, there we go. I, went, I don't know if any of you guys have played uh, Dragon Quest 8 at all, but I went for the classic uh, Brickman combination, which is my ultimate team, if it makes sense, with gold, Brickman. Uh, holy... What? Talk about bloody... Um, conven oh, okay. What? In two shots? Okay, that's a bit of a cheeky one, that is. In two shots? Okay, I will... Uh, I'll give it a go. I don't see why you know, I won't, but holy... Two shots? Two shouts? I don't know why I keep saying like that, but... Hmm. Okay, uh, I'm gonna probably take a wild guess and say I probably won't be able to get this one, but... I can believe in the heart of the cards, I suppose. Um... Hang on, where's... Is that, is that the wall? I can't even tell if that's actually the... That is, okay. So I, oh my god, okay. Um... I am... I am... At a loss here. Okay, I'm thinking... If I can rebound it, oh my god. Sorry guys, okay, if I can rebound off that wall there, I might just, I'm talking, barely be able to clip that other wall. So like, the way I'm kind of thinking of it, if it like rebounds off that wall here, and then bounce off this wall here, and then bounce back off that wall to the far left there again, maybe potentially go into that room, this could easily go really wrong, because I can imagine what's going to actually happen is it's going to go down that freaking small corridor there. This is a really bad one, like this is actually generally quite a difficult one. Like, I mean, I know I'm really shite, but like, it's a very cruel one for them to put me through. I'm, I'm only little. Alright, um... Oh, that actually was not as far deep as I bloody ex... Oh! My beautiful bloody bastard of a child. Oh my... Oh, there's a... It's the home stretch. I'm, I'm actually just kind of fucking suddenly nervous about this. Okay, so about there, a little bit powerful, but at the right angle there, it should be okay. Oh my word! That was... Wow, okay. That was, I, I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen, but that was actually pretty good. I mean, I always joke before because my shots are terrible and I somehow managed to get them in them, but that was actually not that bad. I mean, I know that was pure luck, but the pure fact that it kind of bounced off and kind of worked pretty well, but that was, ladies and gentlemen, that was not that bad. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. What's this bad boy? Bulls that coin. Nice, okay, I've already got one there, but that's, uh, that's okay. Um, that was not that bad. I'm going to say this to give myself a solid 6 out of 10 for that bad boy. You know, 6 out of 10, half dived in, like shit, that was actually, you know, pretty swaggy. I can use that meat then, but that's okay. Um, well. I'm, I'm kind of generally impressed with myself. That's not too bad at all. Gonna have a bloody weapon down there. Did I get another lamb sword? Have I another one of those things? I don't really. I, okay, well, I don't know when I got the second one, but that's entirely cool me. Anyhow, let us proceed to the next floor. 
Okay, so guys and gals, after a lovely little episode, and after a fucking fantastic little shot at the end there, I'm gonna call this episode a little Dunode for now. So yeah, so guys and gals, thanks so much for watching Dunode for now, I realized what I just said. Um, we're gonna call this episode, call, bring it to an end then for now, we'll say that? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, but yeah, so guys and gals, thanks so much for watching. I'll blast from after once again, you guys are amazingly beautiful and perfect as ever. Hope you guys have a lovely day now, I don't know what you guys are doing right now, and I hope to see you guys in the next one as well. So guys and gals, thanks so much for watching, say la vie, hasta vista, and goodbye. Oh, ciao. Thank <laughs> you.